my name is Gregory Davis. I'm the managing strategist for Rainier Beach Action Coalition. The value of small neighborhood organizations really gives the people who are in the local community inspiration and confidence that there is an organization that knows what their particular needs are, that's able to meet them where they're at and help them achieve the things that are on their heart and the things that their families need in order for them to progress and have their well-being. The Neighbor to Neighbor funds allowed young people to get into the policy work of the transportation issues affecting them. In order to get a free ORCA card to go to school, you had to live two miles outside of the boundaries of the school. And they just inherently thought that there was something wrong with that. And so they fought to have that boundary reduced. Um, they were able to get it reduced to um, 1.5 miles, um, but because they also got into an advocacy mode, city council allocated a million dollars for ORCA cards for high school students. It's moved them into wanting to organize for other issues in the neighborhood, particularly public safety. Um, they've accepted the challenge to be circle keepers in a restorative justice um, environment that we're trying to create in our public schools in Seattle. Um, they've been able to um, participate in the Corner Greeter program, which is a community-led um, pre-arrest intervention program that the young people participate in as leaders. They rotate between five locations in the neighborhood to really activate those spaces. Research says when you activate space, that helps contribute to um, the reduction in crime. The impact of neighbor to neighbor over time has been tremendous. It has helped serve as a catalyst for the capacity building that we needed to support a neighborhood across multiple categories like transportation and public safety and education.